Okay, so I've chosen this beautiful April afternoon to do a bit of work outside. The wind's died down uh, a little bit, so it's less than the gale than it was earlier on. Um, but we've had some wonderful stone in today from uh, Paris and Marches, which uh, I'll just show you. Just, uh, I'm hoping to try and keep this in all year round because I think it looks amazing in uh, uh, some of the bigger fish tanks that we do. But sort of inspired me to do a bit of a feature by our entrance and hopefully revive a water feature that's looking a bit tired. Um, and, and ideally make something a bit more memorable by our, our main entrance. Uh, like I say, lovely day and let's, uh, let's see how we get on. Okay, it's still, uh, still windy as hell here, but I've um, made a start. Um, I've knocked up a uh, timber frame and then put some liner in it. Uh, doesn't look much yet, but that's the, the basis of it. Uh, it's, uh, I've used the Firestone liner uh, and then stapled it to the, to the edge of the wood. It doesn't have to be, <laughs> which is quite convenient, it doesn't have to be neat because it's all going to be hidden, hopefully. Um, I use um, use the Firestone with, with with a lot of these jobs because it's it's a lot more forgiving than any of the, 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 any of the other liners, uh, and it's, it's easier to work with. And, and certainly on a small project like this, it's it, it's you know the, the, the cost difference doesn't really really uh, come into it. But uh, okay, on to the next bit. It's starting to take shape now. I've just started to play around with some uh, put the water feature in. Uh, well, positioned it anyway, and I've been uh, having a play with some of those lovely pieces of moorland slate and, um, and some of the marginals. Um, the, um, the whole point with putting the liner in is, um, is so you can we can put some marginal plants in there and fill it with uh, uh, a bit of soil and um, and cover it with some chippings. Um, I, I haven't put any any. Um, any drainage holes in in the liner yet? I think I'm just going to see how it goes. If it, if it does get too too wet in there for some of the plants, then um, I can just put some holes in it. Uh, these so the main the, the, with this unit, the, the water feature. You've got a, an LED in the middle, and the water bubbles up through the middle. And these these two are just planters. Uh, I'm going to put some marginals in there, and, uh, and hopefully it'll look okay. Day two, and what a glorious day it is! Another beautifully cold and wet and miserable day, but um, <laughs> that's a positive start to any video, isn't it? Uh, anyway, so I'd, I'd got so far with the, um, the construction last night, and um, I've placed some of the plants this morning. Uh, so it's, it's a bit uh, tricky trying to keep keep the video going whilst I'm doing stuff so I'm trying to do a few st few shots um, in between uh, uh, the work so so what I've done so far I'll just flip this around hang on so I put some of the uh, the moorland slate in place which is I've got to say is it, it's I know I keep going on about this but it's flying out at the moment um, it's 5.99 for these massive pieces of slate so it's lovely um, so yeah, I put uh, put those in place. Uh, I'm going to put some um, aquatic compost in the bottom shortly, and then put some uh, slate chippings and some uh, pebbles on the top and everything. But I've got plant-wise, I put some lobelia uh, in that that you can actually put in the garden. It's quite tolerant. It's not it's it's not a true marginal in the sense that you you, you, you can probably stick it in about pot depth of water and that's it. But those will get the lobelia will get um, these lovely uh, red red stem flowers on that gets to about about three foot tall. Uh, I've got some of the carex grass there. Uh, we've got some creeping jenny there, which is going to spread all over the the, the base, um, and some of the the, the, the white mazes, which is uh, uh, again a, another spreader. So we've got a mixture of tall plants and uh, spreaders, which is always a good good combination when you're doing things like this, or, or even in your um, uh, marginal shelves on your pond. So, okay, and we'll, uh, I'll I'll be back shortly. 
Right, I think I'm nearly finished. I think I have finished, which is a good job because it's about to honk it down um, and my phone's about to run out of battery, so. Um, so, and, and also the rep for the company that makes the, these particular water features came in today and said, you do know they've stopped making those water features now, um, which is, um, this is a bit of a problem, but I think it's, it's more about this is really more about what you can do around a water feature um, to, to, to really bed it in or, or even not use the water feature at all but uh, uh, basically what you can do with a, a few plants, a bit of rock, a bit of gravel, unlimited budget, hours in makeup and a huge production crew. Um, anyway, I'll uh, just flip this round and see what you think. Uh, So I've used uh, a mixture of chippings there and some of the, um, the coarser pebbles. Um, and uh, and uh, these plants will really take off. The, the lobelia will get, you know, it will get really tall and um, pretty stunning in here. Uh, I've put that, that, this little tub's a bit, bit too small for a lily even some of the miniature ones that we do but that's uh, so that's um, deep water marginal called nymphoides peltata which will be fine in there and then we've got some uh, we've got uh, an iris versa colour at the back which will come out with a beautiful purple flower we've got two um, equisetum japonicum which is the barred mare's tail those will get quite tall as well and they encourage dragonflies. I'm starting to speed up because I'm getting soaked now. Uh, and then that's Veronica Beckabunda which will which um, spreads really really well and hopefully will drape down the, um, the sides of the water feature. And then that's the water feature itself which is self-contained and no longer available. Well, I, I have, um, we have actually got a couple left in the warehouse and, and that isn't a... <laughs> that's not a quick everybody you've got there's two left quick you know it's, it's uh, just that, that's what it is but I think really you could do something like this if you wanted to with with any water feature or even just a little planter or something like that so it's um, yeah I'm pretty chuffed with that uh, I think I'll I might do a few tweaks I'd um, thought about maybe putting some lights in by these rocks uh, and maybe getting some um, getting a couple of plants, uh, making us something to hang over the sides of that tub and putting a couple of the taller plants in there, so yeah, so uh, fun hole, pretty chuffed. Right. Hope you enjoy this and I'll uh, see you in the shop sometime.